so distribution plot is done uh, now we are going to discuss specifically about pie chart where we are uh, so it is used basically when ever we are having uh, less number of categories for example 3 5 7 up to 10 because after that it would be really difficult for you to analyze whatever is happening so uh, in this case we are going to plot a pie chart based on the frequency so let's jump into it and i'll see you on the other side so we have made a distribution plot for age okay similarly what we can do as i've told you we are also having some other numeric values for example we are having chest pain oh sorry resting bp which is a continuous value uh, cholesterol is a continuous value similarly old peak can be a continuous value and maximum match are uh, heart disease cannot be continuous value it is either zero or one zero means not one means having a heart disease so let's do the same plot for other columns that we are having let's do it for resting bp uh, let's see which kind of graph we are having because it will help you to analyze how the things are going for the data set like for from this what we can see the blood pressure from this data set the maximum blood pressure that, uh, that uh, some of them are having is around 200 okay minimum is zero which is not possible so obviously it would be starting from 70 75 so from 75 to 200 is the basic distribution that we are having if I am writing this is equals to false so this is the basic distribution that we are having I can also use just plot let's use distribution plot this time and let's write this is equals to true so that we can have a clear cut line right so this is how the line is which is exactly like a bell curve okay that means the data is quite unified there are some of the value which are above the average and below the average but this is how the distribution looks okay that's totally up to you uh, how you want to analyze it so this is the age distribution this is the resting bp distribution so from here you can also analyze like 90 percent of them are having the bp from 120 to uh, 180 okay so but other column we are having we are also having cholesterol so let's uh, do the same for cholesterol as well this will also clarify your things about the distribution of cholesterol obviously spelling mistake would be there cholesterol So from here you can see the distribution and the uh, cholesterol for a lot of uh, I would say patients are zero okay but if we are seeing this particular curve this particular bell curve so this is where the mo most of the people lies okay uh, uh, they are having the cholesterol between 100 to 400 this is again a bell curve okay in the normal distribution that we have this is how the distribution looks okay uh, same distribution happens sorry same distribution happens for this uh, which is testing bp and almost same for the age as well okay so this pattern is following these are the outliers that we are having before it because uh, some of them are having zero cholesterol okay so that's the reading we can remove these outliers as well as we proceed further we are going to discuss about that what else we are having let's discuss about some other columns that we are having uh, apart from cholesterol we are having uh, fasting bs let's take that what is this fasting bs so the distribution is either zero or one so they are uh, we have gone for the documentation about the fasting bs so this is maximum heart rate so let's do the maximum heart rate this time because this is just a bin binary value of this this is again following the same kind of bell curve okay means the distribution of the data set is okay they are following the same kind of distribution so the uh, 
because of that it, it won't create any problem okay and let's do the same with the last one that we are having which is old peak okay so let's see which kind of values we are having in old peak either it is a categorical value or just a continuous value move it from here let's paste it here and let's execute it okay this also having the continuous value between one to four so we cannot take it as the basic distribution okay so let me move it so these are the four uh, distribution plots that we have drawn for the uh, from these kind of columns okay where the numbers are continuous now the question is how we can do the same but for the uh, categorical one okay when we are talking about the categorical one okay so for the categorical one we are having something called as uh, from the data frame only we can use it okay so uh, let me tell you about the how, uh, how the presentation can be done as well like if i want to add something like this is for the distribution plot for numeric columns this is something we are doing here so let's write it here okay we are also going to make the pair plot where we can see uh, if uh, or uh, the correlation is there we are also going to use the correlation methods but this time we are just using the distribution plot and here because we are now uh, away from the distribution plot so here we are going to pi charts for categorical one because here we are having a lot of categorical uh, features and one of the categorical is gender obviously okay so what we are going to do we can use data frame which is my original data frame i can use group by function Okay. there's something we have used earlier as well this group by function to, will help you to make the groups of what this sex okay let's take sex here okay so it will make the group of sex right but uh, means we are having male we are having female okay but by what quantity uh, by which factor uh, I want to make the groups. I want to make the group based on this size. Okay, if I'm executing it here, you can see there are 193 females and 725 male. Okay, so this data set is not balanced in terms of males and female candidates. Okay, there are very less female as compared to the males. Okay, so what we can do, we can uh, means how we can plot this in terms of a pie chart because pie chart works best in this particular case so we can use a uh, dot plot because this is data frame we can directly plot it uh, dot size dot plot here i need to define which kind of graph i want to plot i want to plot a pie chart if i am executing it this is the pie chart this is how easy it is to plot a pie chart okay and here we can also uh, write like if i want to do if i want to write the numbers in this as well for that purpose i am going to use auto p c t auto punctuations is equals to now how i want to make the punctuation okay for that purpose this is the symbol of using it point one f if i'm using point one f so it will go up to one decimal place okay if i'm writing point 2f it will go up to two decimal place can we go for zero yes we can go for zero as well okay so this is how we have make a chart like how much percent of uh, people out there male and how many of them are female so this is the pie chart that we have used for the category okay can we do the same for some other category definitely yes so let me take the same but this time let's use some other category let's take chest pain type we are having four four type of chest pains i think four or five let's see 
the size would be the same and here you can see maximum of them are having asy which is asymptotic i think pain 5% of them are having this much so this is the basic distribution about the pain we are having category this will help you to again analyze okay um, most of the people are having this particular problem so if any new per person is coming so 50% of the chance that he is having asymptotic pain because this is a rare pain ta type of pain is very rare okay so this will again help you to analyze a number of things so chest pain we have done let's do the same thing but for the other categories uh, we are having resting ecg okay let's take this one resting ecg and do the same pie chart for this so we are having different kind of visualization as i've told you that totally depends upon what you want to do with it if you want to make bar graph so if you are having numbers by a graph works best for it if you are having frequency bar graph works best for it if you are having categories if you want to compare two three four five categories these graphs works best if you are having 50 60 categories then we need to use another approach here you can see uh 60 percent of them are normal right uh their resting ecg is normal for 20 percent of them it is st which is something you can uh, again take the reference from the data set okay and how to do that as i've told you you need to go to kaggle.com okay after going to the kaggle you need to go to the data set once you go to the data set uh, this is the data set that you are using heart failure prediction okay so you can go to the data set documentation and uh, here you can see what is this resting ecg testing ecg s you know we are having normal we are having st wave abnormal okay and we are also having lvh which is left verticular hypro hypertrophy okay so these are again the medical terms so you can go through it so and uh, let's do the last analysis that we are having for uh, okay let's do it for uh, st slope exercise and heart disease okay okay let's do it for st slope because the rest of the thing you can do we are also going to have an assignment very soon uh, on the data set where you are going to use uh, exploratory data analysis on your data set okay currently i am just doing the very basic analysis using making the graph different kind of plots we are having 50 percent are flat 43 percent are up and uh, seven percent are down what are these up downs you need to check about this okay and the last one is the heart disease okay what is the distribution of heart disease that we are having okay because there might be the chances because we are having less number of women who are having heart disease uh, there might be more number of people uh, male uh, we are having heart disease so for this time let's execute it so here you can see one means the person is having the disease so there are 55 percent chances a person is having the disease and this is not the data set from whole country this is just a sample of data set okay and from here you can see if anyone is giving the samples to them so there are 50 percent chances he will have a heart disease but if we are taking the sample from a random village or a town obviously the chances are way lesser okay because here the uh, only the people that are coming are aware that they might have a disease only then they are uh, coming and uh, doing the readings and tests but here from this data set there are 50 percent chances the person is going to have it okay if you are doing the same test on the candidates who are from uh, means basically are normal so obviously then the chances of predicting uh, or having a heart disease is way lesser okay so this is something you need to take care we have just do the very basic analysis by taking one column at a time and now uh, from the next lecture we are going to discuss how, how we can do the correlation finding the correlation making the heat maps and making the pair plots that is something we are going to do in the next video take care bye so uh, in this lecture we have discussed about how to work on pie chart and we have discussed about in a particular case of heart failure uh, we are having either two cases either it is possible or it is not so in this case we are having just two category so we can go for a pie 
uh, chart similarly if we want to go for chest pain we are having five uh, five basic types of chest pain so we can use that as well pie chart if we are having multiple categories like 100 200 obviously it will not work that great so for that purpose we are having some other kind of plots so yeah this is the basic summary if you are still having a doubt please let me know otherwise i'll see you in the next one bye